Hi, I'm Frank Cho, and you're listening to Team Nerd Herd Podcast. And then his mic doesn't fucking work. That's not me. It's all you, JR. Oh, yeah. that, that, was, was that was horrible, bro. You know that was damn wrong. Yeah. Sunday. We kept going. We're going live. You guys don't know, but we had some technical difficulties <laughs> with my mic, but also with JR's timing. So <laughs> welcome back to the Team Nerd Herd podcast, where our best advice is if you want to do it right, collect what you like, y'all. You already know you're with us for the top picks of the week for New Comic Book Day for this coming up Wednesday, y'all. Enough about us messing up right off the bat. Let's go ahead and get this roll call going and get started right away. Alonzo, what's going on, my brother? Talk to me. Not much, not much. Hey, Steve, didn't didn't we just do this? Yeah, I mean, this feels like deja vu three times. Right? I mean, we we just got done with dropping the mic, right? We just got done with dropping the mic on that Witch Blood 3. If you guys did not check it out, go ahead and check the rewind tonight. It's there for your viewing pleasure. Yep, yep. All right, this is Alonzo, a.k.a. Comics and Pops, your comic book nerd and your pop culture fanatic. Uh, over to you, Firesoul Comics. What's going on, Nick? Yo, what up, everybody? It's Nick, Firesoul Comics, your collecting expert. I'm going to have to check out that replay tonight, Steve. That sounds pretty awesome, man. There's a lot of good stuff coming out here from the Nerd Herd. Uh, yeah, man, I, I'm excited <laughs> to, you know. Check out the uh, you know the the lineup this week and see what comics are coming out. I really haven't paid attention, so uh, I'm looking for you guys to educate me, and I'll sit here and sip my tea and make snide comments. You know, so what's up, Rob? What's up? <laughs> what's up, Nick? Uh, just chilling, enjoying a beautiful Sunday. I uh, enjoyed uh, cleaning up some San Francisco lanes on off the floor. The Dodgers sweep the Giants this week, man. Three games oh, in nice. a row. Woo-woo. Very nice. So uh, I'm very happy on that. And uh, yeah, the Giants aren't in first anymore. No, they're not. Uh, Ron's Law. Not much. Uh, I'm your fuck up for the evening, your asshole. Uh, yeah, I'm half asleep, so what do you expect? Uh, this is JR, Rogue's Law, Marvel Nerd, Star Wars Nerd, whatever. Uh, pass off to you, Steve. What's going on, sir? Thanks, going. Th- well, thanks much, love, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's your boy Steve, aka Hip Hop City underscore Comics underscore Collectibles, one show scale collector, comic book lover, and chaser of all things nostalgic, and a practice of the mute arts of uh, mime. Uh, obviously, <laughs> nicely but, done. Yeah, but enough about that. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. I know we got some picks of the week for you guys, and we are super excited. It's a big week. My pull list is looking at me and giving me the middle finger right off the bat. So, big Rob. Talk to us. All right. We got uh, Robin 2. And I totally lost my notes right before this. Oh, well. Uh, so this is a continuation of the last fucking issue where Flatline put a fucking hole right through Robin's chest. Spoiler alert. And we don't know if he, he survived or not. He was being really cocky in the last issue. thinking think he's going to just mop through a, a tournament that he was doing for the League of Shadows or whatever you want to call him. I forget. At this point, I just read the book, issue one, and uh, Flatline looks like a badass. She actually went to toe to toe with, with uh, Damien, and uh, I don't know. I want to see what happens next. So did he actually die? Or I doubt it. He is the main guy, but uh, I want to see it comes out of it. He had a giant hole last time we saw him. So, what do you guys think? I think it's great. I mean, I read the first issue. I love it, and this whole thing is has to do with the. Lazarus pit, so you know they're just gonna dump him in it, and then he'll just come back. So, yeah, so that's, what, that's what I'm thinking. But I, I love Flatline. I think she's she's here to stay. She's just a badass. Yeah, it's, that Robin costume is dope. Yeah, man, he's he's repping, dude. I mean, I'm hearing that uh, Nightwing and then Robin is probably one of the second titles that DC's coming out with, along with several others like Swamp Thing. So I'm curious to see um, what happens in this next issue. I didn't pick up issue one, but I might have to go uh, circle back, you know, and uh, get in, get on this title. For yeah, sure. there's um, there's no star variants for this one, right? There's just a A and B cover. I don't think so. Yep. No. That's yeah, it. so it's just the two covers. Uh, I like that B cover, that cardstock. Oh yeah, pretty dope. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was reading Robin One, 
is the paper different on the book? That's what I've been hearing, man. I've been hearing a lot of compliments to DC's uh, paper, aside from Marvel's, man. They said they were everybody's been shitting on Marvel. They're like, these titles are cool, but the paper sucks. Yeah, the paper feel really nice. I was turning, I was touching and turning the pages. I was like, man, this is nice paper. That's right, man. <laughs> it, 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 it enhances the story reading, brother. Yeah, what, was, seven bucks should better be damn nice. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's actually three ninety nine on this one, so. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. A lot of their titles are like six ninety nine now. Yeah, the Batman, the main Batman titles are they went up a dollar each, right? So I believe so. I dropped them last month, so. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like inflation. <laughs> <laughs> you want your Batman dollar more? All right, that's yeah, awesome. yeah, very much. Good. I have, I got a cover of the week as well, and it's uh, Harley Quinn issue three. Oh, that's and a nice cover. Yeah, this is yeah. from Riley Rosmo. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing his name right. He is the cover artist for this issue, and the colors just got me instantly when I saw the colors. Man, I just it's very uh, that vibrant color. I'm a I love the the neon '90s colors, and it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but uh, not too much. But I just it has a little taste of that, and I just it just caught my eye. Yeah, man. You know what? Um, strikeout number two for your boy, Steve. He didn't even hit the group chat. Let's go ahead and run it down so we can get into the next pick. My bad, guys. It's a Sunday. You know, who the hell knows what happened to me? But today, today of all days, right? Sorry, guys. Something wrong. Something right just happened right now, man. The anime Exeterra, what's going on? What's going on to Hood Rat Comics? Our brother from another mother. He is out and about. Much love to Sparks Comics. If you guys didn't check his rewind on the FOC and their recent interview for Witch Blood 3, I highly recommend that you go back and check it out. Catch that rewind. Big Rob's up in the building. Comics are great. Yes, sir. Comics are great, my brother. Much love. Thank you for stopping by. Eric the Phoenix, hermano, what's for dinner? I'm coming over right after. You better feed a back. <laughs> you better feed me. Uh, Geek Driven, what's going on, brother? My side still hurts from Friday, bro. Or Thursday, it, it be. Tim Stacy, the masterpiece making guy of the month, man. And the year. And the millennium. And further beyond. And that <laughs> is it, y'all. We can go ahead and press on forward to the next picks. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, hey, you got uh, it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I am way behind on X-Men, I'll be honest. Um, but, in general... It's always going to be a solid pick. They're in the middle of, I believe, the Hellfire Gala mm -hmm. going on. Um, these two photos are, these two covers are just awesome. Magneto just ripping into shit. I wish he was in his classic outfit, not this white shit. Yeah. I love the white outfit, man. I think it's dope. Mm -hmm. it, it's I, not bad, but it's not the red. Plus, it's the return of the uh, Sentinel guy, right? What was his name? Nimrod. Uh, Nimrod. Nimrod, yeah. Yeah. But I really picked it oh, because of the Nimrod, next cover. So Nimrod what is uh, is inevitable in this storyline because I read House of X, Powers of X, yep. and that was the thing is that Nimrod always occurs, always happens, and yep. so they're he's, finally getting to that point, huh? He's a Nimrod, that's why. Well, he's, done, done. he's, he's their apocalypse essentially. What not uh, to use? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> damn, dude. This cover though, yeah. Talk about it, yeah. This, the, oh. this cover is just. Hands down, has to be one of the best X Men covers in the last ten years. I mean, Who I don't know that? how anyone Mystique. Uh, no, 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 drawing is it Mayhew? Uh, I'm not sure who did it. I do believe it is Mayhew. Yeah, it looks like Mayhew. Mm -hmm. Mike. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. I mean, it's coming up with this idea is just brilliant. I'm surprised no one hadn't already come up with this idea. Oh. Do Do you see the picture right by uh, Magneto? Is that Ahsoka? That could look like Ahsoka Tano, right? <laughs> Yeah, I could see the one. Yeah, kind um, of shot out. It's yeah. all. It's also could be uh, Enchantress. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be several people. Um, but just just in general, it's, it's a fucking brilliant idea. It, it be, when I saw it, it cracked up. Is it this a cover B? I, it's a very cover. A C, it's a C cover, I believe. Yeah. A C all cover, three. The all three covers are fire. I think. Hundred percent, dude. I'd, I'd get all three of them. Regular uh, price. Yeah, I think they're yeah. all regular price. Yeah, I, I mean, think it's dope, man. You can't, you can't ever hate on that. That was a good concept, a good idea. Yep. I'm down with it. 
that that's the one I put aside. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to <laughs> see her like be Sasquatch for a little while. I mean, there's a Sasquatch <laughs> right there in the middle of the page. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, yo, your boy Hood Hood Rat wants to see a butt a butt view on the copy machine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Bruce Lee in the corner? Uh, oh, dang! Yeah, it does look like Bruce Lee. Maybe Saint Chi. Yes, I'm Saint Chi right there. Yeah. See, I think it'd be funny they did like they did a variant where it's all like TV characters on the ground, oh. like Elf. Yeah, like Peter Griffin. Elf, Peter Griffin, like all these different characters that she could do. Yeah, they, there's so much they can do with this cover. Dude, is that is that dupe in the back right corner? Yes. So she can be dupe, I guess. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't remember the '90s. Yeah. Nice. She was doing some crazy shit, like with getting wings. I mean, like she can mimic a angel and everything. So yeah. she's she's not just copying their appearance. She could like if she grew wings, she could fly. Um, I believe she was able to do limited flying. Um, like it was more like gliding. Got it. For dear life, man, she's gonna need yeah. a parachute if ever. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just, yep. Turning the saw on every time I want to go somewhere, you know. Like, <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, peace yeah. out. <laughs> so, who do we have next, Steve? Oh, oh. Uh, it's my pick of the week, and uh, y'all know uh, we finished uh, issue fifteen. It, the story ended. Erica went her way. Issue sixteen is the origin of Erica Slaughter. So, I would definitely say. Um, definitely pick this up. We know this title has had its foot on the gas since issue one. It's constant. What's going on, Sam? Sam, I am. Much love, brother. Thank you for joining us. Um, this has been an awesome series from the get-go, man. Um, I, it took me a while to get into it. I bought the trades and read through the trades, got back on and started buying these later issues. But, man, I am not missing out on this. This would be objective number one for me if, if I was anybody to get on an origin story with Erica Slaughter finding out what her origin is. Um, and you got all these covers, man. You got, like, uh, the A cover is Withero Adele, uh, Deal. Uh, Della Dira. Um, you got the Tony Infinite uh, in, in a Fonte at 1 to 25. So dope. I love that cover. Yeah, dude, that covers. And then you got the Jenny Frizzens. You got the that that's the B cover. And then you got that one in 50 black and white with the oh. color splash. Wow. It's all in the eyes, man. I mean, she, Jenny Frizz yeah. does just does this drawing justice. This is beautiful. I, I, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a little upset, guys, that I can't get the black and white one, man. I know that's going to be high priced. I, you know uh, what? You should have pre-ordered it, Steve. Oh well, thanks, Alonso. Thanks for your worldly I'm, advice. I, you're, okay. you're welcome. I mean, people, I, mean, I mean, comic uh, comic books like online or comic stores online were doing bundles that yeah. you can buy the whole set. You're right, bro. I missed out. Steve. Yeah, and now I'm paying the price. Oh, Steve. <laughs> The I full know. price, well, for sure. The full <laughs> price, right? Yeah, right. That'll be that'll be sixty five dollars. You know, you could buy a pair of shoes with sixty five dollars. Oh. Yo, how am I supposed to put sixty five dollars down on a piece of paper? Sixty five, probably yeah. hundred. But it might be nice paper. Yeah, it's true, true, yeah. It's true. We gotta we gotta love Boom Studios. Shout out to Boom your... Studios and the stories in the paper, man. Oh yeah, it's definitely yeah. worth it for sure. So, can you wipe your ass with it? I don't know. You could probably try if you needed to. Yeah, probably. I'd probably use a DC book to do that. Yeah, don't don't report that back, Big <laughs> Rob. Though I don't want to know if it ended up working out for you or not. <laughs> Just plus, Rob would have to use a gatefold. Yeah, he's all panel first. <laughs> but um, my uh, cover pick of the week is Bitter Root. Uh, man, this Beat Street homage is. Sick, y'all. I I just as soon as I saw that, I was just like, eat your eggs before I break your legs. Um, mm. This cover is epic, man. If you guys uh, haven't watched Beat Street, I would suggest you go back. It's a breakdancing flick. It's pretty damn. It's damn dope. What's going on, JoJo? Shout out to JoJo. And um, man, that I mean, Sanford Green. Who could hate on it? I can't wait for these uh, homage covers to start coming in. We we had some uh, prints. You know, you had. Uh, don't be a menace. You had uh, do the right thing, you know. Like you had a ton of them. juice, you know. My God, dude, I can't wait for the other ones. But this is it. Nice cover. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Like you said, that they're uh, they're like kind of hip hoppy. Like movie covers have done pretty well in the market too. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, for sure, man. Yep, for sure. All right. 
And and for my pick of the week, I'm going with Black Widow. So you guys know I'm a huge fan of Kelly Thompson as well as Black Widow. Uh, so I have been eating this one up. And I love this particular cover by Adam Hughes. I mean, you, it's kind of Brady Bunchy, but I mean, you see the fist flying and Black Widow like dodging it. I mean, it's fantastic. Also, too, you're, you might get the first appearance of the brand new villain, Apogee. So Apogee might be making an appearance in this particular book. So I would definitely grab it if you see it. And we know like last week or last month's Black Widow was in fuego. Like even the cover A was like demanding some serious cash. So definitely if you see this and with that new villain, Kelly Thompson has some good things coming. I would grab it for sure. Yeah, the series has been awesome too, man. I mean, we had a chance to interview Kelly, and um, this was Alonzo, one of Alonzo's and I's, you know, like favorite uh, title that she's been writing. It's it's epic. If you guys have not jumped up, I, I jumped on. I would probably go back and then pick these up because she's really doing uh, Black Widow justice. She's doing your girl justice for sure. Shout outs to a uh, guy from uh, Pressable Defense <clears throat> in the building. I think that first appearance is confirmed, so it should happen in the book. And Apache's a hero. She's, uh, Apache's a villain. Oh, so that's, a, that's, that's an interesting villain. name for a vil for a villain. What is it? Is it, an after, is it an afterthought? It means like like peak, right, or like climax, or like the top of something, like the best. No, I thought I thought apathy was. It's like, apogee or apathy. Ap ap apogee. Apple A P O G E E, right? Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. Webster just finds it as climaxes or culminations. You know, synonyms like oh. apex, like yeah, crest, crown, head, height. Those are all synonyms. Damn. Wow. Opposite, opposite. That's why we all like had a problem. problem. That's why we had a problem saying what it was. A rising. So I'm thinking, I'm like, that's, the, yeah, that that's kind of a weird name for a villain, right? Or, they, or at least maybe they're gangster <laughs> and they think that they're like the best, 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 you know? That's probably what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> they're probably like a, kind of like a taskmaster type of thing. Yeah. Yep. All right. And we're coming to our Captain <laughs> Obvious pick of the week. Oh, yeah, man. This is for sure. A must grab, dude. They, they, I mean, they promoted a bunch of covers too. I mean, look at that uh, Frankie's cover on the very left down below, man. That one's sold out now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, just like I that. So. How how, how much is it? How 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 much is it on eBay now? Like, make me feel bad for not picking it up. I couldn't even tell you, Nick. But uh, if we did look it up, I know Alonzo knows. I, I don't. I don't. Oh, okay. I, I haven't checked because, like, I always wait for me to actually have it physically. True. You know. Got it. Just, uh... Side note, also, I'm, my opinion, also, last Ronin should be uh, out Captain Obvious this, this week. Is that coming out this week? That's coming yeah. out this week, man. They got those two covers in there. And then it's, uh, I mean, if you're reading it, it uh, shines your boy Leonardo. And I'm hearing Casey Jones is up in that piece, too. <laughs> so. That's death of Casey. Hey, oh. that, that, that poster cover in the middle, it's kind of hot, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. I like it. That yeah. looks like a what would you does anybody know what cover that is? I could be like a looks like Sanctum, right? Something uh, like what? Sanctum would do. That I, looks like some Sanctum would do. I think it might be Bird City. Oh, really? Bird City has one of these. Shout oh, yeah. out to everyone Bird City. has one of these. I know, like I know. I know. I saw Comic Tom had one too. It's like, what the hell? Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, they got They're... the word out, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would definitely uh, just run to the comic book store Wednesday, guys, and just grab grab his, these covers if you can, man. I mean, at least an A cover. Don't be uh, left out in the rain, y'all. You know this is an origin, so pick it up. I don't know. I kind of want that Jay Lee cover. It's it's not very imaginative, but it's, it mimics a number one cover. Yeah, he's 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 homaging himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shout out. That's what he's – shout out to myself. I think still the best one was the council one. Where they had the table, it was a wraparound cover, I think it was, and had the whole council. But I couldn't oh, get one of those. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. That, that one sold out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that was the best one. Yeah. Sure. And it's crazy. Uh, like, all of these, even though there were tons of store variants, a lot of them sold out. Like, it's yeah. nuts. I mean, people the love Eric City when it's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of good books coming out this week, man. So it's hard to choose one. That would look really good in a slab, man. What one? The one with the, the, one with the creases. 
Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Yep. I get like a nice nine point eight. Yeah, the colors. Oh, are that'd be great. People would be like second guessing it. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the hell did CGC do? Let's crack this slab open. Exactly. Creases in like ten years from now. There's creases in this comic. This is not nine point eight. <laughs> yeah. You got to tell a story every time you talk about it. You're like, well, it's this one comic place, you know, Bird City. They made this really cool thing. Shout out to No Good Comics. What's going on, my brother? What was your, what were you gonna say, Nick? I'm sorry, man. No, I'm saying it's very cool covers. All of them are cool. Another uh, book, just for not Captain Obvious, but also you probably want to. At least read real quick on the rack is uh, Doctor Arif. I think it might be a new character. But we'll see. Possibly they're in the middle of that whole uh, bounty hunter wars. Mm-hmm. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions, guys. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. All right, guys, and you know what comes next? Catching up with the herd. So here we go. We're gonna do a rundown of anything and everything comic book related <laughs> that happened the happened this week. So here we go. Uh, this just in, guys. Marvel rumor rumored to be taking over DC Comics. Now, what do you guys think? Man, that would be epic, though. That- Did this, this rumor happen like every year, like every every couple years? years? Yeah, yeah. But the, the the timing is more appropriate because of the whole. Sure. They're kind of, Warner Brothers is or AT and T is looking to kind of like start divvying up this uh, company they bought of Warner Brothers Entertainment. And I know Discovery worried about thirty percent of the company. Just hit hide on that. <laughs> and uh, there's so they're I'm I'm thinking that it's not it's not it's just the beginning of their dismantling Warner Entertainment and uh, the possibility to start selling off pieces of their, their little thing they have. Well, well from what I understand, it's like AT and T is saying, Okay, we're gonna keep the telecommunication business over here. And yeah. the entertainment business is going to go over here and do its thing with, with Discovery, right? right. And, this, and the Discovery people will run it, yeah. right? Right. And if you're a stockholder, right, in AT and T, this is some little cell phone balling, right? If you're a stockholder on AT and T, you're going to get seventy one percent of this new company as well, like in stock, right? Mm-hmm. So like, think of it as like an airdrop or something like that, or a stock split, right? Right. Um, but then like to. For this rumor to come out, I, I don't. I personally don't believe it because yeah. if you are that new entity, that new company, that that Discovery Warner Brothers amalgamation, you're gonna want as much like like story development as possible. And like the thing I think that Marvel and Disney figured out with 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 their comic books is, hey, it may be a loss you know for as a whole, like net loss on the year every year on your balance books, but like the the, the, the free stories you get, the free date, like data mining, like the mining of those stories, the characters, like all the stuff created in that stuff, like the intellectual mining, it's got to be worth more than that. And I would think it'd be worth that same to Discovery slash Warner Brother Amalgamation Company, you know? Right. Well, I think also when you're calling the company, if the company had been called Discovery instead of Warner Entertainment, when you think yeah. Warner Entertainment, you think of the big WB, you think of DC, you think of all that. They're not, I don't think they're going to come out and go, okay, we're going to come out of this company and plan on basically dismantling it as soon as we create it. I, I just can't see them going, okay, we're going to take any of the superhero stuff and just go, okay, we're going to send that over here and sell it. It is possible down the road. Yeah. But I think they would have came out if they were planning to do that, they would have named it like discovery entertainment or something. It wouldn't have been Warner entertainment. Um, I also don't think that they're the problem is if you try to sell it to DC, they would want to, or if they want to sell DC to Marvel, There's Warner brother or Marvel would say, we want it all. We want the rights yeah. to the 100%. movies, everything. We don't want and, to just make uh, comics. Right, and it it would make no sense for them just to make the comics, just go okay. We're gonna make the comics now. You can make the movies and you can make the money off the the properties that we created. So we have a lot of comments in the chat. Um, let's run it. Let's run it down. Yeah. So it, like Sparks is like, no, this isn't happening. And you're right. It probably isn't. I mean, it's uh, 
yeah, it's not gonna. Um, and then Jeff Geek Driven was like, Discovery Channel equals DC. I see what you did there, man. Um, you know, you got Deanna May commenting as well about, you know, his he doesn't want all his money going <laughs> going to Disney, even though it already is. But I but I feel you, man. Disney's gonna take over the world. The Simpsons already projected it. It's going to happen. Just a matter of time. Disney realized about 15 years ago that they were not getting... They were getting the girls after 10 years old, but they weren't getting the boys. So they went out and bought Star Wars. They went out and bought Marvel. They, they basically went about bought several of our childhoods in this room. Mm-hmm. And if they can add to it, they're going to keep adding to it. It's plausible. No. It probably won't happen, but it's plausible. It's the closest yeah. thing to be plausible in the longest time. So I, I me, think the market this. won't let them do it. If Disney wanted another superhero universe, right? They and they wanted to buy up all the superhero universes, they would start small. They would just start buying up image, start mm-hmm. buying up like all like all of those things. Like, you know, like every little small company came out, they would buy them up. But the thing is, like uh, and I, I don't think Warner Brothers lets go of this stuff. Think about well, if they get rid of this, if their superhero y stuff, where they got Harry Potter, like yeah. that, that would be that's fantastic. And Harry, Harry Potter is kind of dead. Mm-hmm. Well, it's <laughs> over, right? There's no, book. well, no, it's kind of yeah. it's kind of dead because yeah, the you have Fantastic Beasts, they're they're yeah. doing like number three, yeah. But remember, yeah. remember the um, what's her name, J.K. Rowling came out and was like anti trans and stuff. Yeah, but so like, it's got a big whiplash or backlash in Europe right now. I tell you, man, Harry Potter is still extremely popular. I agree. Uh, yeah, when 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 uh, Universal Studios opens back up, Harry Potter World will be packed. Yeah, I think but it's more likely that Disney will buy Hasbro before it buys DC. Yeah, but also let's be real, Disney's going to get Spider Man before they're going to get DC. Yeah, that's uh, they cool. they would rather be whole. And have all their shit, then buy DC. Get the whole price back too. And I think they've, I think they've pretty much got most of those rights back. They're talking about doing all movie now. And not, not only that, but like the time invested in trying to spruce up DC and starting from scratch. I mean, there are some hit acquitted movies that you did, you know, like watch and that you did love. But I mean, to put effort and in, in a build up and just really focusing on giving these movies, you know, a, some sort of platform, you know, for fans. That's just a lot of time. It's a lot of time to be putting in there while they have such a push on Marvel. I just, yeah, I don't see it happening. Jay, I'll, say, I'll say one thing, man. Like, you know, I was getting very sa- scared that I was going to have to buy this Discovery Plus thing that exists, you know, because uh, my girlfriend really wants to watch 90 Day Fiance and I'm you not get- giving up. If HBO, you got Verizon, so, if uh, you got Verizon, you get it for free for six months. I'm waiting for the 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 merger, the, the, the merger or the bundle or whatever they they decide on doing. You know, because um, HBO is fantastic. Yeah, no, it is. And to answer what Geek Driven said about AT and T not getting rid of DC, not Warner Brothers thing. You're right. You're absolutely right. AT and T has a say. Warner Brothers does not. But Think about this. Why would they get rid of most of what Warner Brothers is? I mean, I know they've got a lot of movies, but the the thing that everyone thinks of Warner Brothers as is DC. Though, so that'd be like cutting off your testicles. It's like maybe comic book nerds like ourselves think that Jr. But I I don't think like like Joe Schmo out in the public, you know, it doesn't give a crap about comic books. I don't think the CEO you know? ah. gives a fuck. I think he'll sell every every clip. He may, but you, I, I don't know. I associate Batman and the Warner Brothers logo since 1989. But here's the thing, guys: Batman makes money. Like Flash, Superman, all those things make money. They, they make money. They make, you know what I mean? Like they may not make money on the balance sheet for the comic books. You know, like comic book A comes out, was it profitable? No. You know that all the way down, probably no. But they gotta clean up in 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 merchandise, guys. Like just yeah. there's so much stuff out there, guys. From Batman underwear to to you know to to Batman <laughs> movies to 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 you know people like buying Batmobiles. Like it's crazy, man. 
Well, I mean, how many times do you see a person go, they're wearing a Superman shirt, and you go, hey, nice shirt. Like, what do you think? Like, try to talk comic. Like, oh, I don't have any idea about comic. I just like Superman. Or, or they're sloth, you know? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, they're not going to give up two of the most iconic properties in the world. I mean, yeah, I All right, guys. Um, so, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, we'll yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. so, so, what do you guys think? Uh, Bad Batch. I have uh, not watched it. Yet. <laughs> oh, let's uh, spoil it for Big Rob. Can we spoil it? I have, I have also not watched it. Oh, okay. oh. Let's just spoil it then, can we? Yeah, yeah please, please do. It's such a good oh, wow. episode. Finnick is amazing. Finnick, she's in it. Yeah, she, she's uh she's paid by an unknown uh person to get uh, Omega. So it's it's this whole like chase between um, Hunter and Fennec. I mean, it's great. I love it. And she has not actually physically appeared in the comic book, only mentioned in that one Bounty Hunters book, right? So far, I believe yeah, no, so. Yep, no like real appearance yet. Just yeah. a mention, yeah. Hmm. Uh, it was it was an interesting episode. I really liked the part with uh, Echo playing an android, and uh, <laughs> yes, that was funny. He gets he liberates all the other and or all the other R2 units in the C three PO and uh has them help fix the whatever their ship's name is. I thought that was pretty good. And and then too, if you guys are fans of the Mandalorian, you know that uh, like Ming Na Wen plays this badass character and it honestly translates into this animated series. I mean, you still see her as badass. I mean it's great. She is still human in this, though. So. All I uh, want to say is buy your Star Wars books now because when the book of Boca comes up, all those fucking books are going to be... Yep. There's a lot right now. They're all, they're all lower price right now. So so which book do you are, are you saying, Big Rob? I say all of them. Basically, <laughs> this one. All the fucking Star Wars, you, if you see it, buy it. It's just, they're all going to go crazy yeah. when that fucking show comes out. Yep. <laughs> All right. Shout out um, to telekinetic so, age. My bad. Alone. So go ahead. Hit. No, hit. I was going to say, so since you guys didn't see bad batch, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, did you guys Sorry. see Modoc? I did. Uh, I kinda dude, watched it too. dude, this is freaking uh, hilarious. Dude. Tonight. <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's on I, Hulu, I, right? Yeah, it's on yeah. Hulu. Yeah. All 10 episodes are there. It's like right. 30 minute episodes or 23 minute episodes. Or right, we're watching them tonight. Yeah, uh, I watched the first two episodes. I thought they're pretty hysterical. Me too, dude. Uh, I watched them last night before I went to bed. And I was dying. Um, I don't know if you can see in that bottom screen. They have the Modoc. You see like a pink Modoc. That's his daughter. <laughs> like, that's his whole family there. So he has a daughter Modoc, has a normal son and a normal wife. I wouldn't call his son normal. <laughs> well, he's a whiny bitch, but yeah. <laughs> so it continues from the book, from the little four-issue uh, four miniseries. Actually, is continuing from the book to this. That's what I understood. Uh, that's what I heard, too. Yeah. But I don't know. Has anyone watched the whole series yet? No, I haven't watched the whole series. Just the first two episodes. Oh, man. I'm, I'm down to like five. Oh, okay. okay. The first five episodes. Does, it's hilarious. Alonzo, does it keep with the theme of like... Because the first episode's all about like how horrible Modoc is as a boss, like running <laughs> yes. aim, and then he, and then he's a royal fuck up, <laughs> and then also yeah. how he's a fuck up at home. Yes, <laughs> and he kind of like sells like unbeknownly he sells the company, sells aim away to Bumble or something, the uh, some other company. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then the next episode is about time travel. Does it keep going with the time travel thing? No, the time that? travel is, is a one and done. But okay. the time, his college self is still around to cause yeah. havoc. Oh, and it's so great because they show like his college self with like like blonde hair tips and stuff. <laughs> oh, it's it's just <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is good, dude. I mean, it's 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 pretty damn good. <laughs> Yep, it's 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 funny as hell. I mean, I I love it. I can't wait to finish the rest of the series off. I mean, I got I think five more episodes. I mean, it's 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 a good time. I mean, and it's too. It's like in small chunks. I mean, who doesn't yeah. have like half an hour to kill? Yeah. And didn't you uh, get something special with this, Steve? 
Yeah, man. Yesterday I went to Golden Apple to pick up oh, a, yeah. a normal app, a normal order. And as I was driving, there was a long line around the block. I was like, what the heck is this? And um, man, they had a Modoc like a replica outside the front of the store. You could take pictures with it. Um, the cat, the whole, uh, the daughter was there. Um, and, um, I, I think, um, maybe three or four people from the other, from the cast as well. And they had a limited poster that they were giving out of 500. Uh, they were signing it. I, 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 man, here's a story for you guys. I'm looking at this line and I'm asking this guy, I'm like, Hey, so what's the line for this? Cause I'm coming from the back. He's like, Oh, it's for Modoc. I'm like, Oh, okay, cool, man. Cool story. And I, I'm walking towards the front. He's like, where are you going? And I'm like, Oh, I'm, I'm just going to go pick up my books. He's like, you got to go online, right? I'm like, no, I have an online order. So I'm walking in. And as soon as I walk in, I'm greeted by like the, the staff and they give me a poster and they're like, you got your ticket, right? I immediately like, look, I'm like, yeah, sure. Whatever, buddy. And I, they're like, just go to the back. I go to the back. They sign it. <laughs> I come out. With my, uh, I, <laughs> wow. I come Love out with my poster, poster, man. So, <laughs> so we can't want people guy. warned about oh, getting big heads. Guy. In public, and no. <laughs> Steve's getting a big head. I mean, no. Steve's like, "Fuck the line." He's like, "Don't, don't you know who I am?" Who I am? I'm not too nervous, bitch. Fucking me, <laughs> no. In the house, no, dude. Look, I just I don't want... do lines. I'm no, gonna dude. Right I'm hip hops of... and me <laughs> underscore comics underscore collectibles. You don't know me? <laughs> no, man. No, dude. That wasn't like Keanu's friend. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I came out with my books and the and the freaking uh poster. Like these people were looking at me. I'm like, well, guys, see you later. I just pulled like the <laughs> dumb and dumber big gums. See you later. It just came out. Um, wow. but we, got, we, we had some more friends join in the chat with a story time with Steve, guys. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> God. Shout out to Cali Comics. Shout out to Adrian Panda Awesome 316, brother. 316. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> uh, but that's my story, and I'm sticking by it, man. Hey, like you Jeff is like, you stole, Oswald? you stole signatures? <laughs> the guy was like to meet Pat Oswald? Yeah, yeah. Nice. It was pretty Pat cool. Was there? What a yeah. asshole. He's he's the voice of Modoc. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he like he was there. Um I, I didn't get a chance to get his autograph because he was in the back. He had just gotten in. So I and they moved you pretty fast. So <laughs> that's, did, did that's a special message for you, Steve. <laughs> Don't follow the rules. Um uh, did you get at least? Yeah, no. The, 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 like as soon as I came in, like they just gave me the poster. They didn't even look. You know, you're supposed to have a ticket. So I'm thinking, yeah. like, oh, I didn't know it was a limited poster. So I'm like, oh, thanks for the poster. I thought it was a promo. I'm coming to the front of the cash register, and the guy that's like right towards the middle is like, oh, you got your poster. He's like, did you get your ticket? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And and the guy in the front was like, just leave your book here, dude. He already knew the, the Golden Apple guys take care of me, man. He was like, just just go get it, dude. And Went Some to poor get... slug who's the 500th person didn't get his poster because your ass stole that poster. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, oh, my bad, y'all. My bad. I mean, Steve. I just cried at the end. I, I promise the rest of us are not like that. If you see us in public, <laughs> we have no problem standing in lines. <laughs> yeah, we don't cut lines. Oh, but... Jeff, a total we're, MODOK move. That is we're right. We're very nice people. We're not like Steve where we go, like, fuck the line. Which, I'm better than that. Oh, oh, dude, you're 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 going twisting words now, Jr. That is not true, man. I just <laughs> the, the guy the guy even told me he should like, speak you know, louder than words. <laughs> <laughs> you just cut the line. You're just like fuck you. I'm all cool. Sorry, oh, guy. Man. See you later. Yep, yeah, that's Modak. Yep, Modak. Hey, man. So I mean, am I bad to the person out there? Who knows? You know, I might oh. get that sucker framed. And uh, nah, man. You know, like it was a good experience. That was cool. <laughs> all right, man. So, so here we go, some DC movie news. Uh, so if you guys don't know, The Rock is going to be crypto. And on the on the great side is we got some directors for the Batgirl movie. So what do you guys all think? Uh, D- Dwayne Johnson, The Rock as crypto. I mean, are they going to... I mean, is is he going to look like that or is he going to look buff like The Rock? You know, they probably... Uh, it's a cartoon, right? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're probably going to make I it very be, animated. It should be cool, it'll, dude. It'll be fine. You know, it's like he does a lot of kids' movies. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah, he'll be fine. Cool. Voice over. It's cool. As far as the other one, I don't know who Bad Boys for Life 
filmmakers. I mean, right. yeah. come on. It was, yeah. it was the latest movie from Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Bad boy, Bad Boys. Yeah, good. I still haven't seen that one yet. Oh, my good. God. It's so good. Mm-hmm. They, I just, it was epic, dude. I, I, I like it. My, my thing is anything oh, coming right. out of DC Comics as far as movies, until I see a trailer, I don't believe it. No. Because, well, no, no, I'm just, I'm not trying to be mean. It's how long have you been waiting for the fucking Flash movie? And, I mean, it feels like it's like six years. And do we know that's the Barbara Gordon background for this film? We don't know yet. Yeah. We don't know mm-hmm. yet. I mean, I think it'd be more interesting if you did Cassandra Cain. Yeah, I was thinking. I mean, especially if, if you've got them doing it. Um, but I mean, it's like they showed us last year The Rock is Black Adder, Black Shazam, or whatever the fuck they want to call it. Shazam. 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 But it was, it was all an animated cartoon. Mm. It's like, give me something to actually watch. So Dude. we'll see. Shazza Dam sounds like the sequel to I'm going to get you sucker. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. You know what? And in more DC news, we got some animated, animated series. And I, this stuff I actually like. So we're getting a yeah. new yeah. Superman, a new Batman and injustice. And I love injustice. I love the animated uh, series, the book. I mean, it was fantastic. I love it. Yeah. The video game was dope too. I'm kind of wondering, since Matt Reeves is part of the Batman cartoon, if it's going to lead into the movie. Are, are we getting Mortal Kombat characters in Injustice? <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> that Probably not, sick. but that would be awesome. That would I be mean, awesome. You, you can't leave them out. You need to throw them in. You would, <laughs> you would, you would attract a broader audience, that's for sure. I mean, WB yeah. yeah. owns it all, you know? That's true. Mortal Kombat. Throw that them in true. there, that bro. That is true. Throw them in there, bro. But, dude, uh, you know what catches my eye about uh, the Batman series is Bruce Tim, man. I mean, you, you got to oh, love yeah. his art, man. Oh, for sure. Uh, I'm, 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 and it, it being on HMO, uh, HB, HMO, HBO HMO. Max. <laughs> oh, your mom will take the fucking insurance. HBO Max, man. They can't go wrong, dude. It, it's very, animated. Yeah, very anime uh, style on the yeah. art. And, and one <clears> of the <throat> things, too, like DC does animated shows and movies like really well. Oh, no, they're phenomenal. Yeah. You know? I don't know about this, my adventures with Superman. That seems like a, it seems like it's the girl hanging out. Like they're doing, it looks like they're doing like a female Jimmy Olsen. It's going to be the manga Superman, basically. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, yeah. And it, it's very, it seemed based on some of the uh, screenshots or screen grabs that it's very um, hipsterish, but it, it's like these guys are in their 20s. Okay. okay. Very good copy every day. Pretty much. And More HBO content. Be. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. And we also have some news. Super Crooks are coming to Netflix. Hey, now, man. Super Crooks is going to be anime, right? Yeah. Yep. That's going to be so fucking good. I don't but know if you... Huh? Sorry, but Nemesis is going to be live action, right? Uh, I don't know. I just know Super Crooks, I believe, is a cartoon. But uh, Nemesis makes an appearance in Super Crooks. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. I'm down. I'm all for it, man. Next, Netflix has been killing it, man. They've been putting out some good content. Um, this weekend, dude, I was binging a, a bunch of stuff. You know, Army of the Dead. Um, I, I uh, Shout out to the low grades. I watched uh, As Above, So Below. It's a horror flick. Scary, scary as shit. It was pretty good. But, uh, man, Netflix is killing it, dude. They, they, they can do no wrong. There's it, all this content is just great, right, guys? I mean, it just as long yeah. as we have stuff to watch, it's just it's killing options. It. options. Yes. Yeah. Oh, options. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad yeah. they're finally doing something with all the all the Miller verse stuff because they've had the rights for four or five years, it seems like, and they just kind of sat on them. Yeah, yeah but it, I mean, hey, they got Jupiter's Legacy, and it looked like a full like full budgeted movie. Oh yeah, no, they they're you know they're doing their shit right. Yep. Uh, makes me look forward to stuff like they've got Prodigy coming down. That's going to be pretty badass when that comes out. Super Crooks is going to be really cool. I w- I'm hoping maybe they can do something with Kick Ass. You know what? Hey, um, JR, yeah, just, can you educate just like 
us that haven't read Super Crooks, can you let us know what it's about so people in the chat kind of know, just in case uh, they haven't heard it? It's been a while since I read it, but I, I want to say it was like a super heist type of thing. Kind of like, kind of like think of Ocean's Eleven with like bad, bad guys is what it was, if I remember correctly. I mean, I, I don't even remember when oh, it came out. It's been out for a while. Suicide Squad 11? Yeah, kind of that kind of thing. So um, you got these cr criminals that are that have superpowers. So you, you have essentially like Green Goblin, like Reverse Flash, you, and pulling off a heist, right? Yeah. Um, let me. See. I was gonna say, let me see. Pull the really synopsis. Come on. More than Reverse Flash. I love Reverse Flash. Like, what? What more do you need than super spe speed to pull off a heist? That someone's that gotta true. walk in there eventually. Yeah, they're gonna be thinking it's a cast to air. You know what I mean? Just so <laughs> you know? nobody's none the wiser. You're like a block down the like a <laughs> town down. Uh, that? You bought oh. a ticket and you're flying away already. <laughs> exactly. Gone. Exactly. But yeah. Um. So, super crooks. I, I I'm down for for anything new. So and and Millar did a great job on Jupiter's Legacy or Netflix did. So I'm I'm definitely in. Girl, I, I have a couple more seconds, and I can find out the exact synopsis. But I saw Army of the Dead, and I was like, I don't know How about that. Was that really? Oh man! Well, he, 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 Jr. already hates it because the director. He already hates fuck it. Him. He's like Zack Snyder. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jr. He's like fuck him. Are we talking about? Are we talking about that show up um, here coming up, Alonzo? We are not. We are not. Okay. So maybe not we'll talk to... about it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rob. I'm not into Dave Bautista neither, so... Uh. You know, he was one of the better things about the thing, but it, it was, like, really trying to be high concepty with zombies, and it was, like... I don't know. Have you guys seen it? Yes. Yes, I did. Rob, are you planning on seeing it? No. I don't give a fuck, really. There were even robot me. zombies in there. I know you're not planning on seeing it. You don't care <laughs> Zack Snyder, man. They're like they're like oh the zombies have their own hierarchy they have their own like way of living and like they they have their own rules and like there's like you know zombie culture and then like mixed throughout there they were like robot zombies and I was like where the hell did that come from like what? robot zombie yeah like he just like shotguns a zombie's face off and they got blue glowing eyes and you can see like metal skin and like or metal like and it's just I don't know. There's a lot of all, stuff going on. All, all I know is you have an unborn baby zombie. Right. Unborn baby zombie was another concept, too. It, it was, was, he, he was Zach all like Snyder. listening listening to his zombie wife, like, or whatever, like her baby gestate or something. He was like, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, that would be cool if the baby controlled the inside the body kind of like crank <laughs> oh, <laughs> so so like, jr did, did you find did you find this yes. uh, synopsis All so right. it is like kind of explained it's they say it's x-men meets ocean 11 okay. but basically you have a group of super crooks um they're going after one big payday of 12 million dollars because somebody owes or they basically owe somebody money so you got like johnny bolt is the hero He's a mastermind of electric powers. Casey is his ex-girlfriend, the only prominent female character that uh, she makes people see, so she's mastermind, basically. I like her. Ghost, <laughs> uh, the world's greatest cat burglar who can become intangible and face it, so she's Kitty Pride, who favors two pistols to get the job done. Um, <laughs> the Heat, which is an elderly supervillain with firepower manipulation powers. Um... So Pyro. Pyro, yeah. Forecast yeah. a con artist working in New York City who can control weather. So Storm. 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 Mm -hmm. TK McCabe, McCabe, which is basically a telekinetic supervillain. Jean Grey. Um, yep. yep. Roddy and Sammy Diesel brothers and professional fighters who have regenerative healing factors. So the pair of Wolverines. Bam. Double uh, the Gladiator. A superhero with super strength. The only reason he goes along with the heist is because they blackmail Colossus. him into yeah, to threatening to out his out him as a homosexual. <laughs> so it's a gay colossus at that. Okay. 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 Uh, or it could be yeah. a gay strong guy. So there you yeah. go. Bam. It's it's a good I remember reading it, it was a four issue miniseries or 
and it was a fun story. Okay. Um, all of his stuff has been really good, but the one to watch out for, and I pick up now, Find Issues of Prodigy. Um, it's about an African American that is fucking incredibly smart. Yep. Like think of Batman coupled with the smartest man in the world. Are you and talking about the the Marvel character Prodigy? No. No. There's a book that's that's put out by Mark Millar that's going to eventually be made, and I'm telling you, pick that book up because I think that's going to be the hot one to get. Well, you know, there's a black mutant named Prodigy yes. that's super smart. Yes, that could it's be a problem. Could be a problem, but they mm-hmm. could just rename the character's name wasn't called Prodigy. The story was called Prodigy. Oh, okay, so they could just change the name of the book. All right, but still, it's All worth right. picking up. Yeah, well, uh, we got to give some shout outs though before uh, Alonso. Sorry, sorry. Go, go for it. Do it. Uh, shout out to Louis Logics coming in. Thank you for showing up. And shout outs to Rage and Cajun Comics, my brother JD. All right. Go ahead, hey, Alonso. My bad. Hey, no, dude. And then we're, it's always a good thing to shout out the, uh, the chat. Uh, but we're staying with Netflix. So we just got some news about with Boom Studios, Mech Cadets. Uh, going to be an animated series on, uh, on Netflix. What do, what do you guys all think? I never saw this uh, issue uh, coming out of Boom Studios, man, but it, it looks interesting, man. What is it, like a semi to Robotech or uh, Voltron or w- w- what's the dealio, yeah. man? Gun- Gundam. Okay, yes. Gundam, I'm down. Yeah, I, I would definitely compare it to that. I mean, so you have the main character and you see him and he's dressed in orange. So he is actually on the janitorial staff, but he wants to be more. He wants to basically drive these uh, uh, mechs or bond with these mechs in order to stop these aliens that come and attack earth. Uh, and it, it's, it's a good read. Um, and it's a lot of fun. If you like uh, Kaiju, this, this is where it's at. It's great. Damn. He was uh, a janitor though, bro. He, he was, I, he, his, 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 he, he, he was. And all then, I have uh, is a picture to go off of. And cause I've never read it. I don't know the synopsis. I don't like that art style that like that kind of blend CGI sort of thing. Like I, I kind of wish, you know, like if it was a mech, yeah, it's too clean. It's like that uncanny Valley sort of thing where it's like, I don't know if they are talking Chucky dolls, you know, like they look, they look very plasticky. It looks like big kind of, six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Yeah. I can see that too. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Again, this might be just a mock-up and not the real deal. Right, because I like the make on the book more. The design of the make on the book, it, it looks a little more. Totally. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm down with that. They they need to yeah. revamp that, relook at that for sure. That make on the fucking show looks like a make from those uh, ten dollar cheap ass kid toys at Target and stuff. Oh, the ones that roll around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah the generic yeah. toy. I would have loved to see like an anime style, like you, you, you like do do your Gundam impression, and you know, like give me something, give me some, you know. Neo Genesis Evangelion. Oh, there you go. You oh, know? Dude. Uh, I but, agree with that. Well, better yet, just do Gundam or Neo. Just do- <laughs> yeah, 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 just well, pick, it, pick up the license, man. They keep striking right. out when they do uh, all their anime stuff, remember? They keep turning live action. Everyone goes, oh, fuck, why are you doing this again? Yeah. Well, and then when they do this stuff, like they're like, okay, we're going to remake Berserk. They're like, well, we'll do it CGI, and it's terrible CGI that you just have to, like, if you're really a fan of the story, you have to stomach and work through, right? But if you're, like, a person who really enjoys animation, they've had a few ones. Like, for the for the crowd out there and for Steve, mm-hmm. uh, Devilman Crybaby. Watch oh, yeah. it. Love it. You'll cry. 100%, man. Is that the vi- go, go for it, Big Rob. What were you saying? Is, it, is that the video game, Devilman Crybaby? Devil, devil, uh, devil, man, cry baby is oh, on man Netflix, cries. Okay. and it and one like yeah, devil man, cry baby. So it was like an original, like from like the '70s or something like that. Devil man, and then they remade it. They they did a remake, and it was beautiful. Like the art style was gorgeous. I don't know uh, this. I, I'm not too excited to like switch this on from what I can see right here. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we'll see. There's a lot out there to watch. I mean. The last yeah. season Castlevania just came out. Epic. I mean, right. I'd rather watch Castlevania. That looks beautiful when I'm oh, watching yeah. the trailer, you know? 
Yeah, you. I think you also have something else that came in. I know my brother was texting me you earlier. Stay? I think so. It, or it's a uh, it's a uh, anime that starts with uh, a T. Uh, Jesus. It, it, oh, it's a uh, Therese. Oh, that's that. That's a. Uh, oh, it's a. That's a Filipino horror. Um, hmm. that, that's a paperback. It's. Um, I think it's Japanese. Uh, no, no, no. Filipino um, vampires in like the hood. Like drug infested, <laughs> yeah, drug infested, and all oh types my gosh. of. Yes, there it is, Eric. Well, Phoenix. you could tell that, Press. like, gr like the artists and the writers here were obviously inspired by anime, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And it just does. It's not translating. We're getting Big Hero Six, the show. Um, well, again, we we don't know exactly. It, it's it's just a deal. It's like, hey, they're going to be doing it. We don't know how it's going to turn out yet. And I think this is just a mock up. Quick uh, little side note: Anybody? Is there a Demon Slayer cartoon? Oh yeah, oh, Demon yeah. Slayer is on Netflix. Yep. Okay. Because yep. I was I was hearing about I was hearing about that one. Hey, you know, oh, Rob, there's God. a review on it. You should check it out. It's on movies and shows. Yeah, we we reviewed. Uh, I, I've heard it was really, really, really good. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we reviewed the movie. You know, uh, the Mugen Train. Uh, you know, Rob has better things to do. We yeah. were so lucky that he even shows up to these yeah. things. It, is the is the movie something that you can watch uh, without seeing the first season? No, I have seen no. the first season. But for someone like Rob, who probably hasn't seen the first season of the show, can he just pick up the movie? Steve? No, no, he's no. gonna have to go back and watch. Uh, one through twenty-two of the anime. It, it's a, it goes fast, Big Robin. It's amazing, dude. This is a, a amazing anime, uh, and then the movie picks up right where season one left off. So, so uh, I asked because I'm standing in my comic book shop. I was people here picking up the manga and the toys and stuff. So I was like, Demon Slayer. I was hear the name Demon Slayer in the background. Yeah, man. It's it's beautiful. Like, and that's half the t half the stuff that you're like when you watch it, you eat with your eyes, right? Like, shit, the cinematography, all this stuff has to look really great. That's why when I see something like this, I, I immediately turned off. Like Demon Slayer, they figured it out. They blended that CGI with anime cell shading and stuff like that. The way that the camera moves in in mm -hmm. Demon Slayer will blow your brain out. You're just like, there's there's a um. Uh, it's a he's a demon slayer obviously so it's not spoilers to say he slays mm -hmm. demons right so there's a demon that like hits oh, drums and he will he will rotate the room and it's it's intense on your eyeballs man it's really cool oh, that's right it is all right. Dude. all right so moving on then what do you guys think about this i'm hyped for this Deville. me too <laughs> yep as a highlight yeah i love the yeah. original two films i love the show i'm definitely into this so that means now he's going to be The Witcher, mm -hmm. Superman, <laughs> and Highlander. He's badass, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. no, no, he's he's Henry he's probably, it over. He is probably the best male actor in action right now. You know what I was thinking the other day when I heard this news? I was like, I really respect his choices. You yeah. know, like his yeah. choices and roles. I'm like. I, I will say this is a ballsy choice, though, for the simple fact that this is Highlander. I mean, it, it's due to be remade. Yeah it's, yeah, it's old enough. But at the same time, people fucking love Highlander. Are they going to play the yeah. Queen song? <laughs> the song oh, Queen. dude. Oh, don't you dare do that right now, man. <laughs> That's going to be tough, right? Without like Queen it was half of it. You know, not yeah, half of it. But like, they, <laughs> they've got. That new version of Queen with that other guy, I forget his name, it's not bad. Yeah, I don't know. Adam Lambert. Just start composing, like, oh, Adam Lambert, I guess. Another, so I, I heard, oh, was it Ultron said that the next role he should pick is Captain Britain for Marvel? <laughs> oh, I love that. I, I think that's been rumored for a long time. I think that that, gosh, or Hyperion. That's what I was going to say. I want him to be Hyperion. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that would make sense. You're like, yeah, take, I would love, take that, DC. <laughs> I would love to see Marvel go, oh, DC, you want to do a dark and gritty version of Justice League. Okay, here's a Squadron Supreme. Enjoy. Yep. We'll show how you do it right. Oh. Hey, well, I got a twist, man. Like, he looks pretty good in a wig. He's made the Witcher wig, pulled it off, right? What if he played Century? He put him in a blonde wig, like, and he no, has he, to play listen. the broken, crazy Superman. There you go. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I kind of wanted to play the very egotistical Superman, though. The Hyperion, where he's like, Yeah, bow down to me, bitch. 
so this is this is a this is a reboot. So they, I wonder if they're gonna show all the like the backstory of him in the Scottish Highlands and all that shit. So. That man, R.I.P. Sean Connery, man. Damn. I think oh, they yeah. I think they had to wait till Sean Connery <sighs> died because he would have been over my dead body, bitches. Yeah. Oh, and, man. and also, just just so you know, for for comic book guys, those are the first appearance of a Highlander. So there's a number of issues. So if you see them, I'm sure they're in dollar bins. I'd pick them up. Yeah. Now let me since Highlander is like this huge thing and it's it's got this lore and then and then you know this back lore that probably hasn't been that hasn't been explored on screen. What if he's not Duncan McCloud? Like what if he's somebody else? Yeah, you know, would you guys be okay with that? Well, that's what the show is yeah. about, right? The show is a, a different Highlander. Yeah. I thought he was Duncan McCloud, the the show. No, Duncan McCloud comes on the show as well, but no, it's a different guy. Okay. If I remember correctly, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I swear it was a different different character. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I, I I'd uh I remember the show. The guy was much more Fabio, like hair greased back. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Because yeah. there was there was a film after the show, and they both come on the movie. I think that's right. That happened, right? Like that yeah. was like the last last one. Like yeah, yeah. There can only be one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, and then in other rumored news, uh, the Doctor Strange two villain is rumored to be Shuma Gorath. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He's a know. badass character in Marvel superheroes, the arcade game. So, oh yeah, true, yeah. true. Uh, mm. Scarlet. I Witch. don't know. I I think like what yeah. what is, is it going to be like a giant monster in the city or is it like this is a giant monster in the multiverse that he has to deal with and then we have like another scene with him and psychedelics and stuff. So I think okay, so the rumor is, so rumor is that he's chasing um, America Chavez through the multiverse because he wants to get her powers. So this is this is how America Chavez gets set up into the MCU. So this is so this is how Shuma, it happens. Shuma Gorath wants America Chavez's powers. Yes. Okay. I'm down. Right. I'm I mean, down. It's, like it's no Mephisto, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, wouldn't it be like like they're like, okay, guys, it's gonna be Shuma Gorath or something like that, and then it's Mephisto, but no one is looking, right? You hey, never know, man. No, America bro. Chavez is gonna be Mephisto. Just gonna pull it off. I'm gonna pull off my mask. Scooby Doo. <laughs> That's right. Well, well, don't don't you guys see like there's an M in Shuma, right? And then Fisto somewhere else in there, right, guys? Like this, this, this is actually <laughs> oh, of course, of course. If you look yeah. at it backwards, <laughs> yeah. Right. Shout out to Bricks the Iron Geek. What's up, brother? <laughs> yeah, I mean this would be cool, you know. I'll dig it, man. I, I want to see this character. Yeah, sure, why not? I would a never in a million, octopus. Yeah, in a million years, I think this character will be in light film. <laughs> so that'd be cool. Yeah. Do you think that who's going to voice that? <laughs> or is it going to have a voice? Uh, it's going to be The Rock. No. <laughs> Seth Rogen. <laughs> ah. no, they'll, they'll get oh, Ian, McHale, or, uh, Ian McCain to do it or whatever. The old Magneto. All right. Um, and then uh, Dark Hawk is back, guys. All right. The 90s are back. Bringing it back, dude. You know how many you know how many issues we saw of these at Uncle Al's now that they're bringing them back and it's new? Yeah, they're but back. it's 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 a new character, so it's going to be somebody else in possession of the Dark Hawk amulet or Dark Hawk armor. And the armor is redesigned, so... I like the design. New character. Yeah. yeah, new character. Well, well I, you know, it's so funny is I had like a conversation with an artist at like I think a comic con a few years back we were talking about characters that needed to be redesigned. And I mentioned dark Hawk and I remember him snapping at me saying that his design is wonderful from the nineties and stuff like that. So it's, I was right. It, it yeah, was this design is awesome. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This looks great, man. I, he has like what hollow wings now. Something yep. like that. It reminds me a lot of a uh, Falcon songbird. No, Songbird from the Thunderbolts. Oh, I could see that. Because she had wings like that. When I see him, it reminds me. You ever heard of the Black Knight Satellite? No. Sounds like a good rock band. 
that is sounds like a rock band, but it's like a supposedly an alien satellite circling the Earth, and the design reminds me of Dark Rock. Google it, Black Knight satellite. I'll check it out. Uh, I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole on YouTube tonight. Oh gosh! <laughs> uh, is is this the final um, the panels? Because if it's black and white, I'm down. I'm down to check it out. Um, you know, I think uh, what's going on, real rude. It'll probably be color, but I, I want to know who is the new guy, who is like the 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 young man who becomes Darkhawk. Robin. So I I think like uh, comics are great. Kind of hit it, um, hit the nail on the head when he says it's going to be like Blue Beetle, and I I think so too. Hmm. Um, okay. I think you'll have some, uh, you know, young kid get get the suit or get the the crest. Some young kid from San Diego. Well, because didn't they try to bring him back a couple of years ago as another guy? Like I thought they they all I remember is they brought back, and I think it might might have been the original. But you find out that he's part of this whole core, and it's a dark hawk. Yeah, core. yeah, it's like the core. it's weird. They're like the the anti to the to the Nova Core. Like there's a whole core of them, and then there's like the talons also. Mm -hmm. They keep trying. Oh, yeah, I mean, yep, yep. They'll figure it out eventually. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then um, we have our uh, we're at our end, and here's the the comic book covers. So what do you guys all think? We got some good stuff here. I'm sorry, I love that Wolverine cable. Yeah, one. that's the best one. Yeah, uh, that's big time collectibles, y'all. That just came out today, the earlier this morning. I mean, I, it, it's so cheesy, but it's great. Uh, yeah, four it one. Uh, and four Nick, one what do you think one. of that Moon Knight cover? I, I like that one, man. I think that one's pretty dope. Oh. Uh, Is he about to teabag him? Yeah. <laughs> Moon Knight. But, you know, my favorite one on here is actually the DC, the uh, Static Shock, the uh, Kari Rudolph. Um, that one's awesome, man. That one in the middle, middle yeah, bottom. pretty bright, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, Kari like goes in, man. That's that's I like that one a lot. Um, I do not like that Miles Morales dude. There is, oh, it, yeah. yeah, that's that yeah. art style. It just it looks almost like claymation, so, yeah. So, Shannon, Shannon Mayer is the one who did that uh cover, so he's kind of hit or miss, and it's 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 in the eyes. If you look at the eyes, it's it feels like they're dead. But some of them are just amazing. Um, but this one is definitely a miss, I think. But it's also like it's also like drawing African American characters too, right? Like it's all like I noticed. Like I don't know if you guys saw the Rose Beach or how do you pronounce her last name? Rose the one Beach. that Beach. the 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 Miles one that she has up. Yeah. It looks completely devoid of facial features, mm -hmm. right? Like it's just it is what it is, man. You know. You know, I like that uh, Valkyrie with Thor one. That one's pretty dope. Yeah, that's unknown, I believe. What's so, the one right above that one? That is um, Trinity uh, Comics. That's Zoe uh, Lech Lechi. Um, dude, that that. Um, what is it? What well, book? It's Department of Truth. Yep, DOT. Uh, yeah, that one's dope, man. But it's pr part of her signature series. Um, okay. So it's, it's expensive, dude. They're but they're really limited. I, I saw those and I was like, yeah. oh man, I want that so bad. Um, mm -hmm. What's and the one next to dope. What's the one next to Moon Knight underneath Boba? That's vinyl. Vinyl. It's yeah. It's it's a, a horror series or a horror oh, story. Okay. Um, it that was uh, exclusive to Frankie's and Golden Apple. Um, okay. It looks dope. There was, if you guys uh, get a chance, read the synopsis. I picked it up. It was one that I felt like kind of fell under the radar. Uh, it went on sale, and I don't think anybody had any talk about it. But I, I read the solicitation and. Um, I just paid for it right away, man. But what about that um, that J. Scott Campbell with uh, Comic Mint? And then right what, there, uh, the, what, the, the Tyler Kirkham uh, Boba Fett, it looks sick. I'm, I'm, just, I'm not I'm liking just, that Fett one. No, no, it's weak, man. I don't like it. It, it looks like, to me, maybe it's just because it's so small. It almost looks like the armor's not cut right or something. It looks like it's yeah, like it melted a, a little bit or something. When all the Boba Fett covers, she, it's it's one of the weaker ones, I think. Looks like he's got yeah. the Venom suit on. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like like want to move down and kind of slime off him. Yeah. Jeez, What's the one next to Moon Knight between Static and Moon Knight? Uh, the magic. I think that could be Basilisk. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
Basilisk. That that's going to be another Boom uh, Boom Studios title that I'm eager to read, man. Boom has been killing it. They've been putting out some really good uh, independent stuff lately, man. Not lately. I mean, they've just been. What about that Department of Truth, man? Look at look at them just like staring at you. I don't like that cover. Yeah, it neither looks too plastic. Yeah, that, I don't know who it is. Is it Nixon? Is it a bad guy? Like you know, I, I don't think know. it's supposed to be um, Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald, yeah. Uh, like and, a CIA guy. And, uh, well, he's the head of the Department of Truth. No one no. cares about the aliens anymore, huh? Nah, that's what I was gonna finish with, man. That that's a sick ass cover with Comic Mint. Oh, you would die! You would die if you were in the space shafts looking at that. You'd be like late. I'm, I'm just bummed they cancel all the Predator shit. Dude. Oh, I, it'll that. come that back probably next year. Yeah, that lawsuit close, dude. <laughs> Disney's gonna pay him off. That's, I mean, that's what's gonna happen. Disney's just gonna go here. Here's your payday, Miami. and they cancel the Miami buses, man. Damn it. Yeah, that just means more people you have a chance to get. The predator books before they go up. Mm. All right, guys. So that's all I have. Okay. All right. All do, right is, is Steve, is there anything else that we're missing? You know, guys, we are closer to a thousand. We are inching. We want to thank the new subscribers that have subbed up. Y'all, um, much love and thanks. You know, we're almost there. We got some big news to in Vail when we hit that thousand. We got some giveaways. With John Boy Myers. Speaking of giveaways, we are going to be giving away a John Boy Myers cover today, guys. Tonight, for those who commented on the videos, the last three videos, this is going to go live. I know Alonzo got the wheel o fun up. This is very hard to find. This is an Udon Street Fighter. Yeah, me too, dude. Me too, Big Rob. Um, one lucky winner is going to get this. One viewer is going to get this. That Man. is commented in the last three to five videos, I think. I think that's what we so were let saying. Me add, let me add them back in there. Uh, how many shows do I got to miss to start qualifying for these contests? I know, man. Jeez, <laughs> you got to leave the crew. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm trying like to a one, in, one in ten chance, guys? Yep. What are you guys uh, doing? They're doing nothing. So here Come we go. Come on. So, so this is who we have. We have Sam, Sumting Wong, Eric the Phoenix, Mama Comics Lucy, Copy 801, Rage and Cajun Comics, Moonlit Comics, Astro Wizard, J1 Future, Rudy, and Ravenous Kills. So this is the folks that have commented on our videos. And we do let you guys know, and we do ask that you comment on our videos because we're doing, doing oh. these drawings. Can you, you know, check on that? Uh, yeah, comics are great. Said he he commented it as well. Uh, and they, they, these were like five videos down, man. I think we were uh, we had to re, re revamp, guys. So sorry about that. Sorry, comics. We got you in, bro. We got, we you, got in. you in. All right. So here we go. Make this sure you like the video, out. guys. Thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Yeah, tell us to subscribe. Thousand. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here it goes. Uh oh. One in 12. Let's go. Oh, Mama Comic Lucy. Uh, if she hits her, I don't think she's here tonight right now. No, she's not. So that's okay. Tonight. We'll just hit her up. Uh, yep. She she saw the, uh, she commented on the Carla Cohen video. The one that she was in. That's it. All right, Mama. Yeah. Other, other than it. that, guys, you know, be on the lookout. Like Nick said, hit those notification bells. We are looking to revamp, um, you know, some. Uh, Interviews that we are on the works on. Alonzo and I are, you know, cracking uh, the midnight oil. The midnight oil. We got these new shows that are coming up. Definitely check out. Drop the mic. Definitely check out Alonzo's movies and reviews. Definitely check out that cell phone baller and bull and bearish. You know, and definitely check out my man Jr. Jr. is going to be coming out with a new show. Uh, Jr., you want to give us a little background? You want to give us a little tease? Uh, it'll it'll just basically be a. a very Star Wars centric show. It's going to be a one on one interview. I've already got the first couple of them signed set up. I got Morpheus coming back for one of them. I got Ian. I got our artist Tim Stacy. Um, I have Moonlit Comics down the road. Going to do it. Uh, Sam, it's in the chat right now. He's going to do an episode. Um, they're going to be about thirty to forty five minutes. I don't want to make them very long. Um, but they're going to be a good show. I think you guys will like them. Um, 
I'm probably going to record a bunch of them in a row and just have them come out weekly. That way I always have something for you guys. Definitely. Definitely. I like it. I like it. And, and Nick, what about you? When, when can we see uh, a, a nearest cell phone balling, a nearest bull and bearish? Talk to us, my brother. You know, uh, I'm going to work on something out here with uh, Ian, but uh, I think you probably find something from us next week. Um, you know, we got to talk about the giant crash that's happening uh, yeah. you know, here in crypto. Um, guys, hold strong. You know, invest in good projects. You know, like crashes happen. You know, we have a long term out view. So, um, yeah, yeah, man. Well, I'm sure we could talk about uh, Time Warner and AT and T and all that kind of cool stuff too for our dividend investors. That's right. That's right, Alonzo. What about what about you, dude? When's the next movies and shows, or the next uh, when comics and cards collide? Um, you know what? It's comics and cards will probably be with another NBA top shot drop, or who knows, maybe it's something tops related. Uh, we don't know quite yet. Um, as far as movies and shows, I'm always looking for folks and I'm also reaching out. So if you've seen something that's recent, if you want to help me do a review on Modoc, hit me up, let me know. And I'll be more than happy, uh, to get a time that works for you. And we can just jump on and, and review that. I think we're doing warrior here soon, right? Yes, yeah, so yeah. we'll be doing Warrior um, that's on HBO catch, Max, yeah. and we'll be doing it in two weeks. So, JR, you need to finish it. because I, I finished it last night. It yep, really and then I also, have... you two, Hood Rat, you need to finish it. because I you're... think Hood Rat finished it. Oh, then it's you, JR. I think it's just me. I'm off of work from basically Memorial Day for that whole week. So Come I'll on, be get filming on it, man. stuff it's, and it's, watching it's that. Great show. It's a great show. Thank you for doing all the tax work. Mm -hmm. You deserve your time off. Yep. Well, especially since I haven't had, I think I worked 25 days last month and most of this month. So, making that right. dough. Hard. Yeah. Yep. Our baby's growing up. Yo, <laughs> but be on the lookout also. You know, JR and I are going to be doing a book binging. I know I had a lot of homework to kind of get through, but we're going to be doing the Frank Miller Daredevil run, the Ooh. origins, and we are ready to rock, right, JR? Yes, we are. All right, y'all. All right. With that being said, we want to thank you guys. What, what's going on, JR? No, I just need I just need a second. You're good. Oh, okay. I'm out of tea. I guess the show's over. Okay. Right. The show is over. But with that being said, y'all, Rob, you want to take us out? See or no way? See way. If you want to do it right, collect what you like. Good evening, y'all. Show me the one whose safety deems such destruction.